What up, Melvin7 here, and today I'm bringing you a FIFA 17 squad builder, 25k. It's going to be a cheap Premier League OP squad. 25k isn't too hard to get at the start of FIFA. You've got catalogue items, yeah, you're playing the games, you're obviously getting free packs, web app, daily gifts. 25k I think is relatively cheap and it's enough to build an OP squad at the start of FIFA. So kicking this off, in goal we've got Asimir Begovic, a very OP goalkeeper, about 3k. Um, you, if you want a cheaper option, you could go with Jack Butland, I think, or um, Adrian. But uh, the two centre-backs we're going to go with are Ryan Shawcross, who's about under 2k, and then uh, Kasubai, I think. Uh, how, how do you say his name? Sorry, Kasubele. And um, he, he looks like an Akori or an Anotcha type player. Very OP. Uh, on right-back, we've got Bakary Sanya, 82 rated. Although he doesn't have a great amount of pace, he still looks OP. Uh, and he's under 3k I think I think the most expensive player here is one of the center mids who's about four and a half K But uh, by the time this video comes out, they might be a bit less, you know players fluctuate all the time Then we've got Masuaku on the on the left wing. Is that how you say it? Yeah, Masuaku I think uh, but 84 pace for him. He's becoming kind of well known. So he's literally I think about three two and a half K so he, he'll go down in price eventually uh, when you know he's just one of those go to uh, fullbacks at the start of FIFA. Then we've got Koyate, the cheapest player on the team, and also one of the best, in my opinion, all round. 1.5k for him. Two centre mids we've got are Jack Wilshire and Ander Herrera. Jack Wilshire I bought for 2k, but he goes for around about 3k, so I'll make a little bit of profit on him. And Ander Herrera goes for 4.5k, but He's got four-star skills and four-star weak foot, and Jack Wilsh has also got decent passing. They're very similar players, allowed to drift forward because of Coyote, but I'll go through more in the uh, highlights after this team has been put together. The left wing, we've got uh, Gradle, Max Gradle for Bournemouth, very, very cheap, 2K, 88 pace, 82 dribbling and four-star skill moves for him. And then on the other side, the only right wing there is is Faguli, who's about 5, 6K, like someone who's... A default right wing so you're gonna have to really dip back into right mids and I've went with Zaha 89 pace 84 dribbling with four star skill moves looks very good and then to finish this team off you could go with so many strikers you could go with long Ings Origi Juf but I decided to go with Abel Hernandez uh, even though he's only got three star skills he's a very very strong player and uh, yeah this team around about 25k give or take 5k but I'll head into the highlights and explain why I think it is very OP as it's early access, I couldn't really play too many games, so I played three. I came up against, as you would expect, very hard opponents. Uh, two of them had a decent team. This guy had the best out of the three, and one of them had an, you know, a starter team. But uh, you're coming up against people who are typically wanting to play FIFA early, so they're going to be slightly better. And uh, yeah, the first opponent, we did end up losing 2-1, but uh, the team is still very, very solid in the individual positions I, I really like it like my favorite players are Abel Hernandez up front I think he scored three or four goals Jack Wilshire and Ando Herrera as the center mid partnership very very good this is the best goal of the lot Herrera heads it down to Jack Wilshire and he just bullets that in off the ball looks so good and I, I had to be a bell end and use the dab celebration but yeah overall as I say there's there's not too many weak links I mean of course you can get a lot better players but this is the start of FIFA, so you're going to try the cheaper players and you want to know who's a bit better. I know a lot of people will be like, why have you got Jagielka in there? You could have so many other people, uh, you know, there's so many other centre-backs, but he's fairly good. He might not have the best pace, but overall, he's solid enough and it works when you've got uh, Cabaselli. I know I said Casabelli. I get his name wrong, but Cabaselli. They work well as a partnership and overall, I would really recommend you try this team out. The wingers... Zaha isn't amazing, he's probably the weakest link out of the team, um, but again, if you've got a bit more coins, put in for Gooley, uh, and I, I think that would iron out some of the issues, but Gradle on the other side, very, very solid, and as I say, Abel Hernandez is my favourite player on this team, so let me know what you think, hopefully you have enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already, like the video, and yeah, peace.